Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight is part of our salute to the series The Story of Film, which played at the Telluride Film Festival two years ago. We're now showing some rarely seen examples of the films from the pioneering days of the movie making process. And next we have three shorts from the woman who seems to be the world's first female director, the French born filmmaker Alice Guy Blachet. She began in the film industry in its earliest days of the 1800s, starting as an administrative assistant at the Gamont Photography Company in Paris. A year later, that company switched from specializing in still photography to motion pictures, while Blachet at the same time made a transition from working at a desk to working behind a camera. Well, her success was immediate, and very soon she was promoted to being the supervisor of all the directors at the Gamont Company. It was a few years later that she and her husband at the time, English director Herbert Blachet, moved to New Jersey in the U.S., started their own film studio there, which they called Solax. Well, our next three shorts were directed by Alice Guy Blachet at that studio. Up first is Falling Leaves from 1912, a story about a young girl who copes with the reality of death while her older sister is diagnosed with tuberculosis. After that's another short from the same year of 1912 called Canned Harmony. It's a story of a controlling father, a musician, who will only allow his daughter to marry another musician. And we wrap it up with a short from 1913 called A House Divided, the tale of a couple who decide to live separately when they suspect the other of cheating. So here, directed by Alice Guy Blachet from 1912, Falling Leaves and Canned Harmony, followed by A House Divided from 1913. Thank you.